Hey everyone, it's Dave here. Um, or should I do like uh, some YouTube intro? What's up, guys? Yes, <laughs> I don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> then, <laughs> like, hey, hello, you guys. Is that what Mike does? I don't remember. God damn. <laughs> Anyways, this is new, like this is kind of like a new format and I'm gonna real quickly explain why. I had the opportunity to get a preview of InDev, pretty much just like the developers reached out to me to, to like try out the actual coming up game for the quest. I think it comes up next week. We'll do like this fancy shit, just like, you know, thumbnail, not thumbnails, but like timestamps, just like, you know, proper intro, but I just wanna get out of my system. I'm still like, gonna like kind of experiment with it because uh, normally when we have uh, a game coming up, just like really think, I pretty much record everything in the same like hour that it releases, compile everything, and like the next hour or two, it's on the channel. That's kind of like how it have been in the past now. In the situations like today, for example, I got a copy or like preview build. It's not the f final uh, uh, cut of the game. But like a preview build to just like you know see what's up and just like have time to actually work on the video kinda. So this is gonna be the like first time to do some more professional stuff. So we'll see. Quick note as well to the developers uh, um, that you know reach out to people and like specifically for me, I don't bite. I just talk shit. <laughs> just to clarify, <laughs> if the game is like you know bad, I'm gonna tell that it's bad. It's kind of like my feedback is like that. I don't like just beat around the bush pretty much. That's kind of like how the dynamic works with me. But don't be like really like scared to not reach out to me. I will like, you know, respond, just like talk talk and stuff. I'll just like, might be crazy, but I'm not that crazy, okay? I do YouTube, so I'm like a public person as well. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. Here's the actual intro. <laughs> I'm also gonna just like, you know, do some, uh, I guess, trailers uh, in the background to just like, you have an idea what's this game I'm gonna like help myself with the press kit that I received just like information I kinda just want to test out how I will do like in those reviews kinda basically uh, we have uh, next uh, week coming up on the 23rd of July so it's gonna be the usual schedule for the quest games pretty much so on Thursday next week in uh, is releasing it's pretty much uh, um, I'm like doing the recordings backwards. I already played the, the game. I will show you the gameplay later in like in the middle section of the video. It's pretty much uh, um, a roguelite kind of game with an action element of like archery. I, you can also well like play with a crossbow. So it's mostly a shooting kind of dark solely um, type of game. Essentially because it's kind of like the main premise is that whenever you die it's kind of like you get an upgrade that you got from your previous gameplay. It's like kind of like transferring through. It's known concept but it's not used on the quest so you know kind of games like that uh, bringing something unique to the gameplay would, will pre be like successful in that. The price point is like $30, so I guess in Europe it's gonna be the same, like 30 euro. Which, um, from what I've played, I think it could be fine. Yeah, I, I could see the price. I mean, it's like one of the higher ones, as, of course. But the preview uh, uh, build was not featuring like the whole game, but like kind of the essence what it is. Key features that I um, like noticed that you will uh, like notice as well in the first like moments of playing the game. The game does not have uh, a smooth locomotion, which you know I'm a big fan of it because I play in a space that there's not much space to walk around. So for me, smooth locomotion really works. In the, specifically in this game, it kind of like I was fine with it because I'm not a big fan of teleportation, but it was used in a way that it was fitting to the gameplay and like it made sense like it was not like invasive it's kind of like it felt part of the actual game so that's great that's like a very smart kind of usage of the locomotion that you want to imply in the game it's basically you shoot an arrow to the place you want to go and it's kind of like blinking you to the space that you marked so even though I'm not a fan of teleportation movement, this one is fine with me. It's kind of like it is unique cases, so yeah. It does not have a smooth turning, which I feel like it could be like implemented at the final release of the game on the Thursday next week, so 
it's not something that it's hard to implement because you can already kind of do that in code files. It's just kind of few minutes of um, changing the code, not changing, but like just it's basically you know those comfortability kind of presets for people. The actual gameplay, just like you know the whole arrow mechanics and just like you know shooting was pretty much good all around. There was uh, the off points were uh, corrected uh, well. I could actually shoot in the direction that I was aiming at, so if you're like kinda a sniper kinda archery person, you will kinda succeed in this. There are not a lot of games in my perspective on Quest that uh, utilizes very good bow mechanics. The only one that I know of and I experienced were Apex was the best and Sirenta was pretty good because you could just like, you know, customize so well the offsets and just like uh, the kind of angle that you can shoot. This game has a stock one, but it's like, it's it's great, like it works well. I wish the game could be, could have like kind of music in the background, kinda, but at the same time if, when you were playing Dark Souls, you were, there was no music, like you could just like, you know, hear the footsteps and stuff like that. I am just a gaming person, gamer, whatever, <laughs> that enjoys soundtracks, kinda. I like games with a very good soundtracks. So that's not uh, like a surprise that I like Final Fantasy, just like or Persona series, because soundtracks are such a part, big, uh, big part of those uh, franchises that I just enjoy playing like that. But like, I understand why there's no kind of like music. It's in the menu or like you know in the safe space, but like in the actual kind of purgatory or like the arenas, it's kind of like there's nothing. Maybe in the uh, bosses fight, but th it was not implemented in the preview build. All in all, I kind of very enjoyed the game. For for the preview, it was pretty good, like pretty much a combat based action shooting uh, game, which uh, we don't really have on Quest. We usually had kind of like simulations or stuff like that. Uh, this one kind of brings something new to the table, which is great. And the actual uh, like areas are so big very big like you, you just like you will spend there like a lot of time if you want to like explore the whole area it's like easily one hour maybe of like exploration i feel like one level only and it's also like there are all the levels that are like generated randomly so it's not like it's not gonna be the same every time which also is nice so yeah, that was like hopefully <laughs> short kind of like uh, intro, but uh, here you go, you have the gameplay and what what actually kind of experience visually. So enjoy. <laughs> here we go, preview build. Uh, I have kind of uh, an idea what's going on in this game. Uh, it's like uh, I got the info, like the whole kit, press kit from the developers. Kinda looked into it, kinda looked at the controllers. But I'm kinda like hoping as well we're gonna have like a tutorial in game. Uh, we'll see. I'm kinda excited. Um, I am like a great uh, like player in terms of archery. So I'm really looking forward to archery mechanics first and foremost. And we'll see. Moving. Place your hand on the string and hold right hi highlighted button. Release the button to shoot a teleport arrow. Oh, with a button, A button, not like a trigger, okay. On the string and hold the highlighted button. Pr release the button to shoot a teleport arrow. Oh, okay, so it's teleport game. I've kind of he heard of it and just like seen. Um, usually in action games, I don't really understand why there's no smooth locomotion. I'm a smooth locomotion person pretty much. So like locomotion like that really does not appeal to me, but it's it could be the same situation as with um, Robo Rico, where the teleport uh, locomotion makes sense. So if the that uh, kind of mechanic works, and it's kind of um, unique that I've not seen like you have to shoot an arrow and then you teleport there. That's the first time. That's actually good. Like I don't mind it. It's kind of like a blink some sort. So. For example, like that. Yeah, I, I, I think I like that actually. I don't mind it. Still, I would, I wish I would have like you know smooth locomotion, but 
that's not a bad idea to solve it like that. Turning. Use fan sticks to rotate. Yeah, I already see it's snap. It's snap one. God damn the effects. I wonder if I would aim at the wall. Do I teleport? Ah, okay, like that. Shit, my, I feel like my fan stick is broken. That's why it wasn't really working in the thrower. We'll see. Hello. Please, you can this string and just highlight the trigger to shoot. Yeah, I mean, it's basically... Ah, no, wait. On the string and use highlighted trigger to shoot. Where's my hand? <laughs> okay. So one button is for teleportation with an arrow. F f trigger is to shoot an actual arrow. I wonder what's gonna be like the dynamic. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm aiming for the headshots mainly, that's kinda like how it is. It seems fine, the uh, arrows. Looting, use highlighted button to pick up an arrow and place it on your available slots. Highlighted button. Uh huh, like that. And place it in one of the available slots. Ah, okay. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Swapping. Hold the highlighted button to draw a different arrow. So, for example, we have that one. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. Like, okay, okay, okay. I, it's interesting. So, like, burning arrows. Okay. I really like uh, the shooting. For me, the pr primarily um, the best game of archery on Quest for me, in terms of shooting, is Apex. And uh, kind of Siren, though, I would assume. It's, it's alright so far, we'll see. Ah, so it's kind of like, if we shoot like on the edge here, it will still teleport us to the platform, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to effectively use the snap turning. Maybe it's gonna be actually better to just like turn in real life. Let me try that. Fuck. We'll see. Because the game is gonna be like dynamic. And I'm playing on my bed, so of course it's gonna, gonna be like very stable, but hey. <laughs> Blocking. Hold the height button to bring up a shield. Why is it like that? I wish... Okay. Like that. It's like the direction is kinda weird. <laughs> holding it. It's kind of like straight like that. So you have to like, I guess it's very realistic because you like that uh, hold the shield in real life. Wait, let me switch the position. I actually will play like that. Okay. And switching arrows here. Wow. The off point is is uh, placed well. I can actually um, shoot in the actual direction that I want to. Hold and release the. Ah, you mean? I mean, yeah, that's kind of could be useful as well. Holding like that. I mean, dodging. We'll see what's gonna be more comfortable. Headshot, bitch. Okay. Keep me eye on the and I'm a burst on your weapon. Okay, got it. Where do I go? I guess in the middle? Yeah, seems like it. Okay. It's a solid tutorial. So I feel like I've seen, yeah, this is the actual main menu. Unavailable in preview build. Paradise. Ah, oh yeah, it's kind of like stage. 
So we have Alibo available, bow and crossbow, that's what I've heard. I am a bow person, so I'll do that. Leaderboards, offline mode. Can like arena. Oh, here, achievement. <laughs> they disappeared? Okay. Picking up the pieces. Uh huh, like that. You choose. Open speeds of reformation. Increases headshot bonus damage. Uh -huh. So by achievements you gain bonus damage and just like it's stuff. Okay, got it. Abyss. Let's see what's the actual gameplay. So far it's it's pretty cute. I've not played in dev like on the PC VR or like PS VR, so Need a break, exit game continue from this point when you're ready. Also oh, it's like checkpoint system? Okay. We can choose the weapon. Aha, uh -huh, those are different ammunitions to buy. I'm assuming in the actual game you, it's gonna be like currency or something. Kill them on sight. Make them erupt into flames. Barrage of needles. I will take this though. This seems f very good. So then we choose it and we shoot like that. Did it shoot? Ah, like that. Cool. Okay. So, kill them on sight. I don't know how it would work. Is it just gonna be... Like, one shot? Oh, it seems like it. Okay. Okay. Something's flying here. <laughs> Let me switch the actual... Bam! Hello? Whenever there's like teleport kind of locomotion, I feel kind of like insecure because I can't really move. So whenever something's like, you know, coming at me, <laughs> it's more scary than it should have been. Mate. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, slow motion. I br brought up slow motion somehow. It's another button. Oh, it's like a skill. Well, your aim is bad. <laughs> Mine as well. Got it. Uh, ah, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Big. <laughs> it seems like very dark, solely. Is it weird to say? It's kind of like, yeah, because it's like fairly open exploration. Yeah. Wait a minute. We can like go there, there. Wait, this is a big map. <laughs> this seems kind of crazy. Shit. Something's here. I hear voices. Oh, hello. No, don't teleport on my ass. What's here? A ghoul? No, don't come at me. <laughs> Shit. No. I feel like my joystick is actually broken. I don't know. We'll see. Hello? <laughs> From the back. Mate, this is actually cool. This is actually the first game that feels like a roguelite kind of, you know, action game. Oh shit! <laughs> Oof. I still wish there could be smooth locomotion, but maybe in some cases it's it doesn't work. For example here, you have to teleport. It doesn't seem like there's a general direction where you should go, so I'm just going forward, I assume. Hello? Let me test the other arrow, like this one. Ah, okay, unlike this one. 
That's cool. Like this. I wish there would be some music. My, just like, no. Not like super ominous, but something. Nice. There's like an island also there. This is big. I shouldn't come like that. <laughs> Let's go up. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, whatever. Can I go like on top of the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a gargoyle Nile. This is, I feel like repeating, but this is actually so big. That's why there would be like checkpoints that you could continue from the moment uh, that you exit, because maybe in one go it's like a lot to explore. Yes. Ow! <laughs> Dude! Let's go there. Ooh, bitch! Okay, well, whatever. Oh, he heard me even. Bye bye! Ah, oh, it's like instant shot. Ooh, okay. I see you. <laughs> this is not a good camouflage. Something's blinking there. Damn it. <laughs> Will I teleport? Shit, I don't want a surprise teleport. Oof. <laughs> Oh my god! Shit! Bitch! Out of here! <laughs> it's not a good place. I'm not a fan of Dark Souls because I suck. B, get out! <laughs> uh, Dark Souls is too spooky for me, even on flat screen. I'm such a pussy in those kind of like games. I think we have to go to this big tower, I mean, I'm assuming. <laughs> It would just make sense. Nice. Oh, what's it? what is it? I hope not a trap. It's a hill. Hey! Now! Something's flying here. Give me these arrows. Here! Oh shit! This has a lot of HP! No! Go! Oh my god! Get out! Oh shit! No! Teleport here! Oh yes, thank you! <laughs> oh shit, yeah, this is actually like some mini boss or something. B! Okay. <laughs> Was it a health pickup or something? Bitch, not to me. God damn. Teleporting in your face is not cute. I mean, I do this, but come on. I'm getting such a good uh, headshot here. Don't teleport, please. Okay, yeah. Uh, that was like a here or extended something. Hello? I think they're coming here. Teleport there. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Now <laughs> I can do some rapid archery, don't worry. <laughs> I like traveling like that because of course there's enemies just like inside, so Yeah, with this locomotion I don't like you know I don't mind. Is there a menu or something? Is there like actually uh Smooth turning? Haptic feedback. Right handled standing. No, it really is. No. I think I. Okay, I don't really mind, you know, um, this locomotion, like, just to shoot somewhere and to just go there. But I don't feel like uh, applying smooth turning would be a bad idea in this situation. So I, w I think I would wish that it would be on the in the full release actually. What's happening here? I'm choosing just in case my strong arrows. What? Whoa. Ah, oh, this is like a room to have a break or just like buy something. Yes? Yeah, gold. Special arrows and console buttons can be bought at really quarries. Got it. So like extra health 
or like just is it extra health or is it healing ah here i have money or like resources let's go back this is like a big spot is this some kind of like a boss arena or something i mean eventually i feel like this is gonna be a boss or like maybe not in the preview but like in the full game um i've read it's like you pass levels like that in order to go like to the arena to a for like a boss fight shit now this arrows nah god damn it yeah. <laughs> really i wish there would be smooth locomotion what the bitch not behind me i hear voices what the hey don't don't do this to me <laughs> there yes and there he 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 i don't need to de deal with this bullshit here i'm gonna like do that like some gargoyle kind of oh shit <laughs> up Oh, hello. No. Excuse you. There. Where is this banshee? <laughs> I'm packing here. Where are you going? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let me go here. No. Hehe. <laughs> Whoa. He's throwing shit at me as well. We're like closer to this whole thing there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like reach it there now in the preview build. Actually, it's not that. I can kind of speak like a really big portion. So maybe I should do that. Oh shit. Is it really too long? I think I will go and teleport. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's the beauty of games like that. You can just do whatever. Nice. I'm just traveling <laughs> somehow. Yeah, we're actually arriving. Okay. You can kind of like prepare your teleport in the air when you're waiting for it to land. So oh, it's like unavailable. Okay, good. I think I've read that uh, the boss is not available in this in the preview build. So back to the sanctuary then, I guess, yeah? New achievements are locked, Reef of Blood. Okay. Open piece of information. Uh huh. Wait, I died? Really? You can discover new achievement unlocks. I died? I don't remember that I died. Oh shit, oh Jesus, what's shooting here? What the? Hello? <laughs> oh, you mean that that's the enemies that I killed, okay. Yay, I'm not the last! <laughs> Who's on top? Of course it's Chapa and Gamer Tag. That's kinda like weird because you can actually see who actually got the preview version. And I'm one of them. <laughs> shit, BMF is higher than me, god damn it. <laughs> Okay, let me just quickly see how you can shoot with crossbow. How to trigger and pull crossbow into ready a combat bolt. You can really do some SMG stuff. I wonder if there's like aim here. Shit, I'm shaking. No, okay. I am a bow person, so. Okay, well. Seems like it's fine, um, I'm just like recording backwards, so my like outro is gonna be in the different portion. Here was the gameplay of the preview, it's gonna be a little bit different with the actual release version that I'm gonna cover as well, so nice checking it out. And there's that, um, I enjoyed the game really well, just like I said the only thing I w wish it would be just like kind of polished is the smooth uh, uh, turning. I guess smooth locomotion it's not gonna be an option because in some you know places you can't really walk 
So kind of like, I guess that makes sense why it's kind of like teleportation blinking stuff. But at the same time, there are games that have a combination of that. So meaning that you can like normally move, but at, at the same time you can also blink. It's kind of like a combination of those of this locomotion system. And that like really worked well. What was the game that actually had it? Oh yeah, of course, uh, Half-Life Alex had this. It's kind of like blinking and uh, smooth uh, locomotion combination as well hyper dash so it's like you know this combination really like works well kind of like very diverse because in some parts of half-life you could not really walk on that's why there was a teleport kind of blink so now i kind of remember so yeah it exists and it's possible so i could definitely also see this implemented in this game as well but yeah thank you super bright for the preview i uh it's kind of like, uh, this is actually the first game that I could work uh, on, like, you know, before the video and just like kind of like mo have it more polished. Uh, it's the first actual game for Quest standalone that I got like a preview of. The first actual in the history was um, Boiling Steel, but it was like on the PC VR, but good on you because you were the first, and so you're gonna be forever in my mind uh, the first one, so good for you and thank you for the reach out. Yeah, it's pretty much if I'm gonna uh, receive more games like that, you know, preview and they will release later on on the Quest platform, I'm gonna do videos kind of like that, more informative, more kind of like um, organized, not really chaotic, just like um, previously I, ha I had, had done and still will do probably because I'm not gonna receive every preview of the game coming up. My channel is not that big, but we'll see. I'm gonna do the actual review of the game that's gonna coming up. It's kind of like the next week I'm gonna get the actual build. So the preview so far is very enjoyable. So stay tuned for the next video then. <laughs> See ya.